I think one of the key things we can do to address a learning deficit in terms of improving education overall for young people is to begin early. Uh, our experience at the Harlem Children's Zone is that we work with parents who have children zero to three. We we'll really give them information about child development, brain development, the importance of reading and playing with your child. So when they go to kindergarten, at least they're prepared. Uh, to adapt and to achieve in, in those classes because we think that the earlier the better. One of the things I think that the private sector does very good, they use metrics, they use analysis, they use measurements and I think that's one of the things that is missing in education today. There's no measurements, a lot of educators and schools shy away from measuring but I think, we think that that's the best way to go when you want to really analyze uh, teachers to see if they're really qualified in order to give them the raises they want or to improve the overall quality. Moving back to this whole issue of how do we measure and, and look at teachers. When we look at the Netherlands, the top teachers go into education. The top tier students go into education. So the, all their A students are going into education. In America, the bottom tier, the C students are going into education. So therefore, at the end of the day, the quality of your teachers are not as good in the United States as in some places in Europe. So I think the whole way we look at education has to be looked at differently. It has to be revolutionized in order to keep up and to make progress.